welcome back Groundhoppers and welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel and what is ground number 35 on my, of my 160 currently hurtling towards the southwest on a Great Western train and I'm going to be visiting Exeter the other St James's Park today and they are home to Morecambe so it's a big relegation battle for Morecambe they sort of need to win and better MK Don's result to stay in League 1 otherwise they will be relegated to League 2 and I'm going to be with the Morecambe fans in the away end so hopefully get some emotions where they stay up, where they get relegated we'll see but I'm about half an hour from Exeter itself and I will see you outside the ground hopefully and get in my ticket for hopefully it's going to be a decent game Finally made it to St James's train station. The ground is literally behind me, up there. So it's literally a two minute walk. Very close to the um, ground, but sort of grab a ticket. But yeah, a bit of a delayed train service from London, but I can hear the crowd in the background. So yeah, let's get our ticket. Let's get inside the ground. Come on. midday kickoff but they've made it and it's in good voice so yeah it's a nice warm sort of afternoon as well but um put that party feel at the end of the season hopefully it extends for more than they do win the game as they put it down for them but um, yeah but it's still there. so this is my first visit here to Exeter City and you know the grounds Quite a tidy little ground actually. Four stands, this away in all terrace. I think um, this is a new roof because I swear this was all open air before. But um, yeah, the only criticism is it's got a big open corner opposite me. I think it's the way the railway line goes adjacent to the ground. They can't really build much over there. So you know, you lose a bit over that corner. But apart from that, the ground's you know, quite nice, not bad actually. for this ground is just over 8,000 I mean, there's not many empty seats today and this away is quite full up so we're going to take a punt and I'd say the attendance today is going to be six, six and a half plus um, I mean I can't imagine it being out on a cold Tuesday night in February but, <laughs> but yeah but no, it's decent ground though decent atmosphere I really like it Cambridge are winning, so Morecambe have to win. So even if they draw, they're going to go down and call difference. So as it stands, Morecambe going to be relegated, Cambridge are safe, but you know, we've still got an hour to go yet. But yeah, so currently, Morecambe are down, Cambridge are staying up. Woo! to Exeter, they, I think in my opinion they've had a bit of better half, had a cut of decent chances, had a really clear cut, but yeah, but you know, they've got nothing to play for, but um, apart from professional pride, and you know, they've had a decent showing so far, so thumbs up to Exeter.
So it's half time now, still Exeter nil, Walker nil, as it stands, Walker will be relegated. But you know, we've got a second half here, if they win, they score a goal and win, they stay up. Um, if you like the channel, make sure you please subscribe right there. This is Brown 35 or 116, as I say, doing all the grounds in the UK next cut of seasons. So I really need you to subscribe. So make sure you subscribe, it really helps the channel. Many thanks. What do you reckon? They come back and all come back.
there you go, Morkel got a goal back. It's now with 3-2 to Exeter, but you know, there's about a minute left. Too little, too late, but um, they're going to be getting relegated. But uh, yeah, it's 3-2. Game's finished, it's finished 3 2 to Exeter. Morgan get relegated along, along with MK Dons, Atkinson Stanley, and Forest Green. And I've got to say that they're the most sort of well tempered fans for being relegated I've ever come across. It was like just seemed to have accepted it and um, moved on because most clubs would be absolutely fuming being relegated. But yeah, so sort of happy set of fans, really, both sides. The crossover. But that's a good game though, all round. Um, if anybody says about, you know, playing a team mid-table, they're already on the beach with nothing to play for. Well, Exeter today played really, really well. I mean, they were playing as if they had something to play for. But um, yeah, fair play to Exeter. And fair play to Morgan as well for um, going right to the end. It's a bit of a uphill task at the end, but they kept playing right to the end, so fair play to them as well. But yeah, so that's the end of this game. and. Um, Thanks for staying to the end. If you like what you see, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. More importantly, follow me on Twitter as well. And I will see you at my next ground, which hopefully will be next week sometime. Run out of games at the end of the season. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye for now.